today what we're going to do is talk about this lock-in opportunity. The middle phase right here is a fantastic time to lock in and get to work in all facets of what we're doing. We're going to think about this in regard to strain on the body. Okay, so the body, it doesn't necessarily know what the stress is that it's encountering. It just realizes that it's pressure on it. Okay, it does not matter um, if it's a mental stress, if it's a physical stress, if it's stress from the, the practice field, the game field, or the weight room. Okay, the body doesn't know what's happening. The stress response goes up, heart rate increases slightly, um, my veins and arteries starts to constrict slightly. Um, I have hormones being released in my body to free uh, stored fuel within my muscle and, and tissues to be able to use as, as fuel for contraction. A lot of these things are happening and that starts to break down my body over time if I strand that out too long. That's why it's important to group highs with highs and lows with lows. And here's what I'm talking about when I talk about that. Here's a period of low. Okay, so low, low strain on the body, low strain on the central nervous system, low metabolic strain, low mental strain. I'm getting back righteous in this period so I can really put in work. The next period, I have a little bit higher strain on the body. This period of time, oftentimes in the middle of a week, is, is noted by uh, you know big practice opportunities. I have to intentionally work to get better. Those are heavy days of practice, heavy days of learning, installation of, of scheme against opponent. This is also a great period because I'm already high to couple schoolwork, work on getting better um, on, on projects. If I've got big things outside of, of my sport, that's a great opportunity to do that too because I'm already got strain on the body. This next phase kind of resembles one. I'm down a little bit, I'm recovering, minimal stress. And then once I get back to game opportunity, I'm ramping all systems back going and I'm good to go. Now, the danger of having everything in the middle and always having systems firing, and remember, the body doesn't know what kind of stress it is, it just sees it as a threat, so systems rise. If I always have stress throughout my week, I run the risk of just kind of operating somewhere in the middle. So I'm essentially just always under this stress response and I'm always in a semi-heightened state. We wanna avoid that. We wanna group our stressors together and then our periods of recovery together. That's gonna allow us to really put in great work when we're ready to and then capitalize on a competition opportunity when that comes around. Okay, so in summary, we break our week down into periods of time here, okay? Early on, it's a res restoration period. I'm just coming off of a competition or a big event. I wanna get back right, okay? Two, I have to intentionally lock in. I have to get to work, okay? So here, period of high central nervous system stress, metabolic load, and overall pressure on the body. I have to intentionally group my stressors right there. After that, ideally I have a period of time where I can recover from that big stress and then I'm going to capitalize right here and go 1-0. We're grouping our stressors together here. Uh, this is kind of what a...